Hey all, and welcome back to week 13 of the John Runs Marathon Training Plan for the Dublin Virtual Marathon happening on the 25th of October 2020. So, I'm on to go now, and without further ado, let's go on and see what I'm doing for week 13. Okay, so Monday was a rest day. So no running here, although I did a few plyometric exercises here to help build the resilience and strengthen my legs to prevent any injury uh, going forward. So that was Monday. Tuesday was the interval session of the week. So this session consisted of one mile jog to start with, followed by 13 by two minute uphill sessions with jog back recoveries, followed by a one mile jog. So a very straightforward session. It was an uphill session this time, so uh, I had to find hills. And there's no hills beside me, so I had to travel a bit to get to them. But definitely worth the uh, worth the effort, um, because uphill sessions are very important to build speed. Okay, so that was Tuesday. Wednesday was the slow builder run. So here it was seven miles at an easy pace. My pace here being eight minutes and 24 seconds per mile. And just over seven miles here. And yeah, it was a nice um, a nice run, easy pace, nothing too strenuous. Uh, and then, yeah, helps me, I suppose, helps the legs recover from the interval session the day before. So now, moving on to Thursday, it was a tempo session, so the tempo run of the week. And this was a one mile jog to start with, followed by four miles at a brisk pace, followed by a one mile jog. So brisk pace here um, is, is means yeah, it's a quick pace and it means half marathon pace. So overall, my pace averaged at seven minutes and 21 seconds per mile. So that was overall, including the slow miles at the start and at the, at the end. So if I just go into my tempo run here, the actual, just going into the, into the actual, um, you know, the, the times for my splits from mile two onwards. So, yeah, so basically, mile two was done at seven minutes and one second per mile. Mile three, six minutes, 52 seconds per mile. Mile four, six minutes and 55 seconds per mile. And then mile five was six minutes and 55 seconds per mile. So that just goes to show the brisk pace I was doing there. So it was a tough session, but definitely a very good one. So Friday was a rest day. Um, but then again, I actually did some plyometrics as well here, um, just to keep the, keep the legs strong and resilient. And so Saturday then was a five mile jog. So this was done at a very easy pace, even though it ended up being, my pace being seven minutes and 46 seconds per mile. So definitely not my usual easy pace, uh, but I felt strong and felt good. So I said, why not? And then moving on to Sunday, the long run of the week. This was 20 miles at a pace of eight minutes and 40 seconds per mile. A great session overall, and it's just good to get that done. Week 13 as well, it's, it's you know, I'm far into the training session now, or the training plan now. So it's good to see my results there. Um, I'm going to see that I'm able to handily get the 20 miles done without any issues at all. So it's a good sign, a good indicator. Okay, so let's move on to what I'm doing for week 14. Okay, so week 14. So week 14 is the first week of the taper. So when I taper, I get less mileage in than usual. So I peaked in terms of mileage on week 12, week 13, and now I'm going a bit lower with the mileage this week and with the you know the following weeks up until the marathon it's to get your body and your legs ready for a marathon um, and to feel fresh because if you keep the high mileage up then what's going to happen is that on race day you'll just be tired and you won't reap the full benefits of the 16 week training plan so that being said let's see what I did for week 14 what I'm doing for week 14 should I say so Monday is a rest day, so no running involved, unless I feel fresh and ready uh, 
for a few miles. In that case, maybe do three, four, or five miles, depending. Tuesday is the interval session of the week. So this this week, week 14, it consists of a six mile session. So a one mile jog to start with, followed by six by 800 meter fast paced runs with 100 meter recoveries, and then finish it off with a one mile jog. So that's Tuesday. Wednesday is the slow builder run. So here it's six miles at a slow pace. So usually on the Wednesdays, I do anywhere from, you know, seven to nine miles slow. Here, as I'm tapering, it's six miles. So it's a bit less, but still a fairly good, uh, good session. So six miles slow on a Wednesday. Thursday is the tempo session of the week. So this is going to be done at a steady pace, being my marathon pace, which is seven minutes and you know, 25 seconds per mile. So eight miles at that pace. Friday is a rest day, because surely I'll feel tired now uh, come Friday. Saturday is a four mile easy pace session. My easy pace here would be around eight minutes and 30 seconds per mile. Maybe a bit quicker than that, depending on how I feel, but I'll keep it as easy as I can. And then Sunday is an 18 mile slow run. So this is done at a slow pace, being around eight minutes, 45 seconds above. And yeah, so 18 miles is the shortest long run I've had in a while. So it just goes to show that this is definitely a, a tapering week. So yeah, looking forward to it all. Hopefully it should be a, a good week. Uh, and yeah, can't wait for the marathon now at this stage. It's been a long time going. So, okay, thanks guys for tuning in and I'll speak to you next week to talk about week 14 and then week 15.